everyone and welcome back to my channel. So you're back with your girl Melly Mas. And for today's video, I'm going to be doing this eyeshadow look, well this makeup look. And it, I named it the Trix Cotton Candy Eyeshadow Look. Yeah, <laughs> that's a really long ass name, but that's what I named it because I was inspired by the Trix Cotton Candy yogurt that I grew up eating. I remember coming home from school and going into the fridge and getting a snack and I would get that yogurt and I would mix it and then like I would eat it while watching cartoons um, but to before like I would start my homework. So basically I was inspired by that by that yogurt. Well first I was inspired by my nails, this blue shade. I remember I had an eyeshadow this color, so I was like, oh I'm gonna use it, you know, do like a spring look. But it really inspired me and it reminded me about those yogurts that I was talking about. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing this look. It has a combination of purples and pinks, and the main uh, show factor is that blue eyeshadow. So if you guys want to see how I accomplished this look, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so I already went ahead and did my face makeup just to make the process a little faster and we could just focus on the eyes today, the eye makeup. And um, I'm going to try out this new technique where like, you know, I use um, translucent powder under my eyes and right here just to protect my under eyes from any um, fallout from the eyeshadow. I'm going to see if this works, so... Let's just, you know, get right into it. Alright, so today, for today's look, I'm going to be using the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. And I really like this palette because it has a range of bright shadows. So first, I'm going to start off by um, using this shade. It's like a bright orange shade. And I'm going to use that as my first transition shade. I'm going to be using this Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Dip into the shade and use it as a transition shade. So I'm just going to... Get that all over my crease. So on the uh, eyeshadow palette, this shade looks kind of like an orange neon shade. But it's kind of coming off pinky. So, I don't know. I don't know why it's coming off so pink. It's okay, we'll work with it. Alright, so the next shade I'm going to be using is this pink, pink shade right here. And um, I feel like this is the closest shade to the yogurt, the Trix yogurt. Um, I know they use like a baby pink and like a light blue. So I feel like this is the closest one. So I'm just going to put that in my crease again, but not go too high up um, where the other shade is. I want to keep a transition going on from color, from shade to shade. So I'm just going to put that into my crease. Okay, and then just blend it out. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Jumbo Pencil from NYX, and it's in the shade Milk. And I'm going to use that to apply to my lid to really make the blue shade um, uh, to pop in this eyeshadow look. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this to my lid. Like this. It's really easy. easy. I'm just going to apply it all over. And the reason why I'm doing this, doing this process, this step, ooh, I went a little too high but it's okay. I'll blend it up. Um, it's because the, the eyeshadows, the blue eyeshadow from this palette isn't really that um, pigmented. So I want to see if this can like help it out. So I'm just going to blend it with my finger. The shade I'm going to be using today, which was part of my inspiration because of my nails, I feel like it really matches. So I'm going to be using this light blue shade. Um, and I'm just going to use like a packing brush. So I'm going to press on that and then pack it onto my lid. So let's see if this works using the white jumbo pencil. All right. So make sure to like 
really pack that on. So basically I'm just going to keep packing it on. I feel like when I was trying to like brush it onto my lid, the, the shade would re wouldn't really um, show. The color of the shade wouldn't really show, it was just like really patchy. And this, um, the shadow isn't that pigmented so I really have to try to like work with it and make it stand out. I'm going to try using my finger too. So you could like really pack on. I'm mostly just packing, not like rubbing. Alright. So now I'm going to be dipping into this uh, purple eyeshadow shade. And the reason why I'm going to be using purple is because, I don't know if you guys remember, but like what I liked about the um, yogurts was that um, you would mix them and then you would get like a different color. And I remember I would mix these the the pink and the blue and I would get like a really bright purple and it tastes so good so I'm gonna add that into my um into this look because I feel like once they're blended you know you get a nice purple shade so I'm just gonna add it to my outer corner and bring it into my crease The eyeshadow is kind of coming off already. <laughs> These are not, like, the blue is really not pigmented. I wish it were because it would look really nice if it was more pigmented. And I'm gonna use now this, like, um, this crease brush to go in here. Just to add that. gonna come off patchy I'm gonna try to go back in with this brush see if it works better So I added the purple and I'm going to go back in with the blue because I feel like I want the blue to stand out a little bit more, the blue eyeshadow. So I'm just going to go, oh. so I'm going to go back in with my brush, dip it in and pack it on. Ah, wrong side. Now I'm going to take off the powder for my under eye, take it off, see if that worked. Okay, it kind of didn't work. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and fix this. Alright, so I was going to use a makeup wipe, but I don't want to take off my uh, concealer that I already put on. So I'm just going to use some toilet paper. And I'm just going to like take that off very lightly. So I'm just going to keep doing that. Okay, so that worked. So you can always use like a napkin or toilet paper to take it off if you already did your face. Since they are a powders that you're using, it's easy to come off. Um, so now I'm just going to take my uh, Make Mark Makeup Forever Eyeliner in black. And I'm going to go ahead and tight line. And I'm going to add that to my waterline. So I'm going to be using falsies today, so I'm just going to go ahead and line my lash line with this felt tip black liner. Since I don't want the band to show on the falsies, this is what I do to, um, to help that out. So 
So like I messed up my liner because I was trying to go so fast that like I didn't line it correctly and it's kind of crooked. <laughs> you can just add falsies because they hide everything. Um, you know, whenever I mess up, I'm going to just add some falsies and it'll look good. You'll be good. All right, I'm going to let those dry and I'm going to go ahead and finish my bottom lash line. I'm going to go back into this transition shade that I used at the beginning, the neon orange. But comes off pink. <laughs> I don't know why. So I'm just gonna add that to my bottom lash line. I think I'm gonna go into the the pink shade that I used in my crease. I'm gonna also add that to my lash line. But I think I'm just gonna go like I'm not gonna go all the way in. I'm just gonna go like what like a fourth? Now I'm going to use the dark purple shade that I have on my outer corner and I'm going to add this to my bottom lash line but just to the outer the outer corner also just to connect that. Okay, so now I'm going to add mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Big Colors Mascara. I always use. Now it's time to add the lashes before they completely dry. I'm just gonna use these tweezers. I'm gonna look down at the mirror. And I'm gonna add these little suckers. And I like to take the other side of the tweezers and like press them off. I feel like that helps them set in place. So for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to use a different um, shade. I'm going to be using this highlighter, Luna. Um, this is more of like a white pearl shade and I feel like It'll go well with this um, eye look, just because it has like kind of purple in it. It'll make the purple eyeshadow stand up. So now, final, final, final step is to add lip liner and lipstick. So I'm gonna be using Max Lip Liner and Spice. This is my favorite lip liner. I use it with every lipstick or lip gloss. I'll go ahead and. So it looks like I really darkened that lip liner because I'm going to be using uh, using Max Cream Sheen Crema the Nude uh, Lipstick. It's a nude shade since I want again my eyeshadow to be the main point in this look or the main factor in this look. Alright guys, so this completes my look. I hope you guys enjoyed my video for today. And always remember, tricks are for kids, okay? <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.